We are about set and ready to go, Tyson Bruff says. Time on a second elimination final of the Host Plus Cup. It is the Northern Pride to receive, and they automatically get the ball out, and Oswald finds the edge forward. They lost ground on that bad pass. Short side play, Oswald coming out nicely. More to Partridge. And he reckons he's got the ball down. What's the matter? What is Tyson Bruff going to say? Try time. Instead of getting the pass away to Hoyter. Foxwell, short side play again. Looking to crash over. And he will. Kyle Foxwell, the temporary dummy half, the makeshift number nine. Down him out five away here. I'd like some points just before the halftime break. He's denied Tongia. Very short, but out of dummy half, King this time gets the four-pointer. Year in which they were ahead 22-0 at the break and got done with 28 points, unanswered points put on. The ball still alive. They're fighting and winner Manly come up with a massive play. They needed that. They were on the ropes. Rogers again. Getting the pass away. Nilsson, he's away. There's some open space finds. It's Willison. Xavier Willison who will break the loss that they had behind the scoreboard. At the back, number set. Back on the inside. Woodhouse charges for the line, but he's just short. Denied by Winner Manly. Sword comes back out now for Child. Links up. Egan shows it. Gets away now. This is for Naughty. And he's just short, is he? No, he's not. He finds the try line. Last play here with a Manly. And that'll be a penalty. Not on side, on the last. He kicks these in his sleep. Will they go Egan? Will they go Child? Child's kicked one this year. Child goes, charged down. Six more tackles going to the Northern Pride. They'll get one more play here. Rogers, Rogers, Rogers for a long range field goal. The ball's still alive here. Now picked up by Partridge. This is the last play, but we could be going to extra time here. He goes to ground. And remember, Golden yeah. Point, first scorer wins whenever. A good strong run there from Paige Wilson. We're within range now. 40 out. Will they go early? They will. Here he is. O'Hagan takes a shot and it's going to just fall to the left of the upright. The ball is still alive though and Woodhouse picks up. Oh, they had the legs. So the siren will go here for this first half. Deloise Hoyter will go to grounds. And that is all she wrote in this first half of extra time. So what will happen now, Warren, is they will switch the clock off and it will just be an unlimited points uh, time period now for, for these two teams to try and find points somewhere in the second stint particularly. So fourth tackle here. They're going to try and get themselves in a range here. Saitia bounces off one, runs back to the middle. They try to make another tackle. He's still alive here. It's still in play. Saitia busting tackles left, right and centre. Goes now back out to Sim. But he's, but he's run to the sideline. O'Hagan's in the centre of the field and always was. Last tackle. Oh, Rogers is there too. Now they go out the back. Rogers now to O'Hagan. Chases everywhere. It's taking a deflection. Six more tackles is the call. Picked up by Stuckey. And they're in range again here. Winner Manly. Will they play this set out? Will they go straight for points? Rogers wants it now, I think. He's calling for it early. Here he is. Josh Rogers gets the field goal. Winner Manly are off to next week's semi final. <laughs> the Pride are on their haunches. For a second year running, they have been eliminated in week one of the finals. And what a way to go out, Warren Boland. Unbelievable. I mean, uh, there's joy and there's tears all over the place here.